while we're just diving into stupid, um, you're watching House Parks Mega Worldwide live uh, every day, uh, 3 o'clock, except on Thursdays today, which I start at 4 o'clock because we have family FaceTime on Thursday and my family and so, uh, you know, like kids and grandkids and stuff and we all get together and kind of share what's going on for the week. It started it, you know, a few years ago and in the pandemic it became even more important. So even when I started doing the live stream show, I decided to leave it where it was for the rest of the family. And so, uh, so I moved the Thursday show. So I appreciate you guys um, uh, bearing with me on that. But regular show, um, 3 o'clock the rest of the week, 4 o'clock on Thursday uh, Pacific time. And then Monday, Wednesday, and Friday I do a morning show, um, which is really just a hangout. And we look at what's trending in social media and it starts a conversation, either about those things or anything we can do to avoid talking about those things. Because sometimes it's just... Thank you for asking, Kimmy. My mom is great. She's over. She's over. She's over Macron. Um, she is totally good. <clears throat> she, yeah. They might notice that Don Jr. was wearing a three percent shirt. Yes. I mean, this is this will get. There's a lot of footage of them with like Oath Keeper shit and all that stuff. That's gonna be fun. How did you see Candace Owens and Bob Saget die from the vaccine? Oh, for fuck's sake. I, I, we don't even need to walk into that craziness. Um, I mean, the woman voted for a man that she had to, and will again, she, you know, Candace Owens can't wait to vote for Donald Trump, even though she had to go into a closet in her house and go, guys, he's really stupid. Okay. Um, I know you guys are upset about what he said, but he, he, I mean, he's an old man and he just watches the news and he just says whatever he hears. He's, he's kind of fucking dumb, but he's the only hope we've got. <laughs> you imagine Imagine that's your sales pitch. Jesus. All right. So, um, speaking of dum dums, um, this is uh, new Fauci emails are so disturbing they need a criminal investigation, and uh, and Dan Bongino is happy to step in and be that criminal. New Fauci emails. I'm I'm sure we're all going to learn something from this. It's uh, I I'm I'm shocked. Thanks, Bob. Yeah, she's doing great. My dad's doing great. He's deer hunting in Mississippi. He had one of his, this was one of his first trips for uh, remote um, dialysis. He had to go find a place where he could hang out with his buddies, where he could go and get a um, get dialysis, you know, on the on the road. So, anyways, uh, he went hunting, and now they're having like deer lasagna or something. So there you go. Um, it, this is, uh, new Fauci emails. Now I'm sure that this will be, I haven't watched this. You, you guys know, I do not pre-watch these things because why should I submit myself to two doses of Bungino who is looking for TP for his bunghole? Um, uh, every day, you know, more than once in a day. I mean, it's just, it's a dick move. I don't need it. You don't need that shit. Um, I mean, we've got enough problems, I think. Um, just dealing with him. Hold on one second. Clinic. Uh, um, but, uh, Hey man, I've got a lot of respect for the guy and, uh, we're all going to learn a lot listening to him. All right, let's go. Come on now. Tell me something. I do. now remember I was once the governor of Minnesota and I ain't got time to bleed. I'm fascinated. Tell me about these new Fauci emails and were they found in an elevator shaft in the Denver airport? This is even more disturbing. I'm going to play an audio clip from you here. This is Ryan. Oh boy, he's got it on tape. New Fauci emails, a recording. Fantastic. I'm discussing a different set of emails. Emails that went around after a February, I believe, 13th, 2020. Early days. So at the big, right in the beginning, when all of this was happening... When the coronavirus is just fresh out of a bat's nuts in Wuhan, from when it escaped from the lab by busting out a window, or at least the window was jimmied open by diamond and silk, if that's what we're led to believe. Some people think it's a conspiracy theory. My question is, what does a conspiracy theory become once it's not a theory anymore? I'm thinking. Pandemic. Conference call. The conference call, which a lot of these people were mentioning here were on, 
was about right. the very serious potential that the coronavirus had leaked from the Wuhan lab. Remember they told us that oh, was a conspiracy God. theory? Remember? No, they didn't. No one said it was a conspiracy theory. It was unknown at the time. The conspiracy theory is they did it on purpose. They took some bats and they took some corona and they mixed it together in a lab and it exploded. And they were like, this is terrible. This doesn't taste like mint at all. And then they were like, maybe we can use it to kill the Americans. And so they sent it out to destroy America. And Donald Trump knew it came from the Wuhan lab. He knew all about it, but he wanted to finish his deal with Xi Jinping. So he blew it off for four months. And then after they attacked us with a bioweapon, after that, he decided to sell them a bunch of steaks. The date of this call, it's February of 2020. They're telling us now. Right after, it's almost around Valentine's Day. What a fucking gift Trump got from Xi Jinping. I think he was fucking with him. It's just a conspiracy theory that this thing leaked from the lab. Well, now we got the email. No, it's a conspiracy theory that it was made in the lab on purpose and sent out on purpose. The leak isn't the conspiracy. The Biden administration set up an entire group of people to look into it. They said it was inconclusive. He said, look again, find it. We think it's there. After the call, and Ryan Grimm kind of sums up what they say here, and this is really disturbing stuff about a potential. Oh my God, I'm, I'm prepared. Tell me about it. I'm scared. We'll cover up. Should be a criminal investigation uh -oh. into this. Listen to Here this. Here it comes. They painted a damning picture of U.S. government officials wrestling with whether the novel coronavirus may have leaked out of- Hey, 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 fucko. There is nothing wrong with wrestling. Some of my best friends started their careers as wrestlers. They knew they were funding, deciding that it very well may have, and then actively suppressing those questions. So to spell out what actually is new here, these emails themselves and others similar to it yeah. had previously been obtained right. by news outlets, including The Intercept, which sued the NIH for a huge batch right. of documents. And the GOP... Yeah, the, what, the Intercept, huh? They found this out, did they? I'm sure they released all of what they got. Let's hear it. They cited us in two footnotes. Uh, these... Here, here's my fucking question. Dan Bongino, look, if you can't fit your, if you can fit your giant egg-like cranium in the fucking shot, you can't downsize the goddamn graphics so we can read what's on the screen? The fuck is the matter with you? You're trying to be the king of Instagram, you influencer poser? Particular emails were first obtained by BuzzFeed and the Washington Post, but the emails were heavily redacted, making That's it better. hard to know what was being communicated. A lot of... Yeah, but, you know, hey, don't let that stop you from assuming what it says. It's always worked out well for me. Look just like that. But as we also know from previous reporting, Republican staff were able to view the full emails, quote, in camera, which basically means they could physically Terrible. look at them, but couldn't take copies with them. So what oh they did God. is they quickly took as many the notes nerve. as they could. It would be better they if did. the NIH would just release them. But this is the best sure. we've got at this point. Now, one I quick agree. side note. It's pitiful. It's shameful. That First of all, fucko, why are... I thought we were going to listen to a conference call. I thought this was audio about the fucking thing. Why am I watching one dumbass show another dumbass's clip? Why don't you just link in the description and give and show the documents yourself? They're they're readily available. Dan, I'm beginning to think you don't deserve TP for your bunghole. Democrats wouldn't collaborate with Republicans on this investigation in any serious way. This shouldn't actually Why be not? partisan. It's existentially no. important that we get the actual truth here. It's obviously too late to yeah. stop this pandemic, but maybe not too late to stop the next one. What this next is one? Uh, Ryan Grimm, I'd assume is... That's amazing. Wow, how did you get that footage of that conference call? Did you sneak into the White House while Trump was president and smuggle it out? In your bunghole? Is that how you got it on bungholio? How did you get it? Oh my God. Who'd have thought someone could make a living playing someone else's clips and commenting? No fan of mine. Uh, good work.
He's correct. So now we have hard evidence, not soft evidence. These are. Yeah, well, uh, I got hard evidence. You've got soft evidence. Prove me wrong. Documented, unquestioned government emails from Fauci and Collins. Nobody's questioning the authenticity of them. Just the fact that they're mostly redacted. N nobody questions what's hidden behind the giant black blocks. Just assume it means they hid it, they made it, they were trying to get rid of it, all that shit. No one. That two things may have happened. They may have conspired using their government taxpayer fund. Yeah, and they may have also flown down there on a vacation and all took turns laying eggs. Salaries you don't and know. accounts. Email accounts. To attack the credibility of well-respected scientists. What a terrible notion. Hang on a second. I think I have access. Hold on. I have a buddy who lives below the Denver airport. Sometimes he sends me shit. He sends me uh, uh, information that you might find interesting, Bongino. Come on there, man. I think I've got it right here. Something along to these continue. lines. Right here. What? You might, you might want to give this a fucking listen, you goddamn stooge. Not, hey, don't worry about it, by the way. I'd be happy to buy you uh, a, 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 an Iditarod coffee in the Denver airport. Second floor. It's great. It's up there near the Jamba. Well, no, he didn't. And, you know, Anthony's been in government for many, many years. He's a, uh, a bureaucrat. I, ca I call him Tony. Kind of a guy, a very great promoter. I give him an A-plus as a promoter and probably a C or a D as a doctor. We now know from emails that have been released under the Freedom of Information Act that... Yeah, I know. I, I This uh, dippy, bald fuck I hang out with sometimes at the gym just was talking about it on another show. I mean, he didn't talk about it in any coherent kind of a way. He played someone else's clip of them talking about it. But after you, young lady... He was getting his advice from the likes of Peter Dajic, a Wuhan Uh, Peter, we call him Peter Ballsack. Fuck that guy. Operator. At the same time, he was telling you that this was a natural virus, while at the same time, behind the scenes in emails, he was having discussions about whether this might have been genetically manipulated. Wait a minute, those emails say it might have been or that it was? Because what Bongino's inferring is that it, it absolutely is, and this is final fucking confident proof. Come on, lady, you're screwing with my dream here. Does that shock you? Well, he was dealing with them, certainly, and my thing was a little bit different. I just wanted to stop it. Uh, whether it developed one way or the other, I just wanted to stop it. But it's important to know where it came from. It's Agreed. I feel like we're all about to step into a wonderful land. Anybody who's never seen the show before might not have seen this clip, might be under the uh, a preconceived notion that Bongino actually doesn't live with his head up his ass 85% of the time. Hey, a guy's got to eat. Extremely important to know how it developed. Fauci was dealing right. with them and... I guess they were even making payments for certain kinds of research. And I ended that too. I stopped that. When we found out about that, he was doing that during the... Well, actually, you found out uh, about security payments, which is just like locks on the doors and guards and, and bureaucracy to make sure shit doesn't get out. And you cut those funds, didn't you? We're about to find out. Oh, and sit back. Sh go ahead. Obama years... And when I found out about it, I said, can you imagine that the United States is making payments to a Chinese lab? So just that on its face didn't make sense, but I stopped that. The Obama administration did hit pause on gain-of-function research, though, and that was lifted under your watch. Why did you allow... Ouch. That's got a sting, motherfucker. That's, that's a hard one. That's rough. That's, that's a pain in the ass. Look at his face. I love the half nod. 
gain-of-function research to continue? Well, I think probably people that worked for me looked at it, and at one point they might have uh, done that. Mm -hmm. Hashtag the best people. Right, Bongino? You fucking dipshit. To propagate a lie that lockdowns were working and that there was a scientific consensus, and even more devastating, there may have been a coordinated cover-up to make sure that the lab leak you theory was painted as a conspiracy theory and no one was to talk about it, despite the fact... Uh, no, the assertion of it was the fucking problem. Trust me, I go through this legal jump all the time. I can, in I can imply, or if I'm really clever, allow for the inference thereof. Is he bleeding from the ears yet? This is kind of big grammar. He's all right? Okay, I'll continue. I can, I can imply or allow for the inference thereof that there are aliens who live below the Denver airport and they eat human milkshakes and live off of adrenochrome and live as lizard people and walk among But I can't point at somebody and go, lizard person, get them. It gets a little legally murky, asshole. And it appears right now to be the most viable theory. And Grim, I left it at that. It goes on for 14 minutes if you'd like to look at the whole thing. Yeah, we're capable of watching someone else's video with actual information in it on our own. But thanks for the tee up. I, I, I appreciate the ball cradle. But even more important at the end, it's not uh -oh. just that there was a cover up to hide the potential of a lab leak theory, folks. It's right. that the cover up may allow and provide cover for another lab leak of a potentially more devastating virus later. Has anybody thought this through in the Fauci? Yeah, nobody is going to buy China's story about shit in the future. What are you talking? He's basically arguing that we give them more security funds because the shit will get out of the lab again because they don't give a shit. What are you talking about? It's not our country. Yeah, we should prepare. Here's a good idea, dumb fuck. Maybe somebody ought to create something along the lines of a pandemic response team. If only somebody had thought of that shit before. It's the Messiah Circle. The Kool-Aid drinkers. Has anyone thought this through? That China now knows if a virus leaks from the lab that the U.S. government will cover it up for them using people like useful idiots like Fauci and Collins? Has anyone thought? Well, not anymore. I mean, that only happened when Trump was president. Nobody's, we didn't have that problem with H1N1, did we? This is a one-off. Fish stinks from the head. I think we solved the problem. Congratulations. This through. I'm going to have Dr. Stephen Quay along with the great James O'Keefe. That should be some interview. On our Monday show, we're going to do something different on the Monday show. We're going to do two big interviews. Very exciting. I can't wait to hear it. I'm sure they've never had someone ask dumb questions to them before. They'll enjoy it. It'll make them feel smart for the first time in their lives. Dr. Stephen Quay, who knows all about this, and James O'Keefe on our Monday show. Inventor of the Quaalude. I'll miss that. I'm going to ask him exactly that question. Folks, I am not uh, exaggerating when I tell you. Smart? Oh, <laughs> yeah. This may be the scandal of the, uh, of the decade and last decade, because we're only two years into this. Could it be the scandal of a lifetime? Little firehouse for you. You just heard. Oh, that's it. Yeah, we just heard Bangino. None of us were impressed. What a bunch of dumb shittery. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, I'm, I'm a big fan of how they keep coming up with new evidence that, oh man, this is the smoking gun. When it, it, it's clear that most of them are smoking their own evidence.